In this video, we're going to take a quick introduction to decimals. As with whole numbers, each decimal point has a value that we can refer to with place value. We know before with place value, before the decimal point, if we imagine there was a 1 there, we would read that digit as 1, and so we called that the 1's place. If we want values that are smaller than 1, we end up getting fractions. After the decimal point, we put our values that are smaller than 1. We think about it as the fraction 1 over 10, or 1 tenth. We read that, then, as the tenths place. Keep going across, and we start adding zeros under the fraction. 1 over 100, we would read as 1 hundredth. And so the next digit is referred to as the hundredth place. Hundredth And similarly, we, we keep going, adding a zero, we get the thousandths. And then finally, adding a zero to the fraction, we'll get one ten thousandth or ten thousandths place. And we'd keep going to hundred thousandths, millionths, ten millionths. The important thing I want to notice, though, with these place values, is there is no such thing as a once place. A common error is students get off by one digit because they count the first decimal as the once. There is no such thing as a once place. We start with the tenths, because when we put one over one with one zero down in the denominator, one over ten, we read that as one tenth. We don't have a fraction of a one-th, just a tenth. We can use these place values to help us round. Uh, we've seen rounding before. We look at the next digit, digit. And if the next digit is anywhere from 0 to 4, we round the number down. And if the next digit is a 5 to 9, we round the number up. So let's take a look at a couple examples and see if we can identify place values and also round correctly. We have this number 6.486721. We want to round it to the hundredths place. Counting that out, after the decimal would be the tenths, hundredths. We want to round it to the 8, which means we look at the next digit, which is a 6. Because the next digit is a 6, we need to round it up. So we're going to bring this 8 up a value. So we have 6.4, bringing the 8 up one value gives us a 9. 6.49 will be our rounded decimal to the hundredths place. Let's try one more example. Same number, but this time we're going to round to the ten thousandths place. Counting out our decimals, the first decimal digit is the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths place. The seven is in the ten thousandths place, which means we look at the next digit to decide which direction to go. It's a two, so we need to round down, which means we're just going to drop off everything at the end and make them into zeros. We could write this value, then, as 6.487 with zeros after it, but the nice thing about decimals is decimals always have zeros going at the end, so we don't usually write the zeros. So we'll just stop this number at 6.487. Whoops, I lost my 6. 6.487. And that is now rounded to the ten thousandths place.